With forecasting, nothing really is left to chance or guesswork. I've been a forecaster for, well, nearly 50, 60 years. It's a huge amount of respect because my peers um, realise that I've learned quite a lot of forecasting from my experience. I can look at that cloud and decide which way it's moving, if there's any significant rain coming from it, if it's advertised that a certain player is going to play on a certain day and inclement weather should result, then that match may be postponed and that can have a, a flow on all around the world. Anybody can look at a, a weather chart, but do they understand what that chart means? If I do give the wrong information, it throws everything into chaos. They wouldn't know whether to close the route because they think the storm is going to come, or they, if there's some rain going at the moment, they won't know whether it's going to clear, when to, to open the route. My experience and my knowledge does help the Australian Open keep on course, yes. Nobody knows who I am except, of course, the media people or the director or the referee. They all know me and all my co-workers. I just can walk at ease right through the corridor and outside around the concourse. I'm just one cog within the big team. I make decisions on storm clouds when they can be as far away as 150 kilometres. But then I have to make a decision whether they are going to last. They may dissipate. Very often they do. And the whole show goes on with no disruption. That is pure, unadulterated relief. I would not wait until it was above me. So, yeah, I would be a CEO in that regard. I have the, uh, the course of the Australian Open uh, to a certain degree in my hands. Yes, I do. I have a reputation amongst my peers. They trust me, they respect me. When I uh, offer my advice, the referee and the director will act.